rips that towards the corner. He's got a shot. Mark making his way to second, and he's got it. Cycle for Mark Kotze. As the Cubs go for the sweep in Atlanta, starter Ted Lilly's plan is to go deeper into the game than the last time he pitched at Turner Field. That was June 10, 2007, when his outing lasted 10 pitches before he was ejected. June 10, 2008 was the last time Tom Glavin took the mound before he left that game at Wrigley Field and going on the disabled list. Mark Kotze's club at home, he's hitting 327 in his last 26 games, a modest three-game hitting streak. Bottom two, he's down 2 nothing with one on, that being Jeff Francoeur. And Kotze sends it into the right field corner, that being his third triple of the year. Ted Lilly still in the ball game in the second inning, and his club still leads 2-1. Top three, two on, nobody out. Talk about your scare tactics. Aramis Ramirez just stays with it and sends it to right center field. 5-1 Chicago, his 20th home run of the year. Six for 10 on the road trip. He went two for two with three knocked in. Top four, 5-2 Chicago, Alfonso Soriano. That's a two-run homer. His seventh home run in his last 17 games. Cubs up 7-2, his 22nd home run of the year. Bottom four, you saw him at the top. You'll see him again, Mark Kotze. Get your ice cream, your tootsie footsie ice cream. His sixth home run of the year. That makes it 7-3 Chicago. Later, bottom four, you know Escobar. Lines it right back up the middle. Look out, Ted Lilly. Lilly not happy about it as we fast forward to the bottom of the sixth inning with one on two out. Escobar getting hit by the fastball. That's 90 inside. Benches do clear. Warnings are given to the benches, but there are no ejections. Escobar not happy about what took place. As you see, Bobby Cox coming out to control number 19, and Lou Pinella and his coaching staff doing the same. After Jeff Francoeur had a two-run home run, we're back to baseball. Katze back at the plate. This in the bottom of the seventh inning. A double. And he's loving him some sliders. And why does he like that? Because that's his 1,500th hit. But also, he hits for the cycle. The second Atlanta Brave ever to hit for the cycle, joining Albert Hall, did that on September 23rd, 87 against Houston. Kerry Wood, three scoreless innings since coming off the DL, gets Clint Salmon staring. Cubs won it 11-7, but the story, Mark Godse, the first to hit for the cycle against the Cubs since Willie McGee did it on June 23rd, 1984. And also remember, that double, his 1500th hit, becoming the second Atlanta Brave ever to hit for the cycle. The Cubs, though, pick up their eighth straight road win. It's their first eight-game road winning streak since a 12-gamer back in 1945. Each team pounded out 14 hits. Tom Glavin off the DL. Lasted just four innings, seven hits, seven runs, four walks. Ted Lilly, eight innings, improving to 12-6. Eight hits, four runs, eight Ks in the win.